Victims of gun violence will soon be able to sue gun makers. That and more news coming up on Synced In. Hey everyone, big news here in California. Governor Newsom just signed Assembly Bill 1594 into law. This will now allow people who've been victims of gun violence to sue firearm manufacturers and sellers for the harm caused by their weapons. Local governments and California's Attorney General, by the way, will also be able to sue. Well, it's well known that nearly every industry is held to account when their products cause harm or injury. Well, except one, the gun industry. The gun lobby, well, it spent millions and millions of dollars buying off politicians to shield themselves from any liability. Today, California is going to change that. They can no longer hide from the mass destruction that they have caused. I'll be signing a bill that will allow Californians to sue irresponsible gun manufacturers and distributors. If you've been hurt or a family member is a victim of gun violence, you can now go to court and hold the makers of these deadly weapons accountable. There's a lot more to AB 1594. You can read up on it at NBCBayArea.com. The bill is set to take effect July 1st of next year. What are your thoughts? Well, speaking of lawsuits, Twitter has filed a lawsuit against Elon Musk to force him to abide by their original agreement. Last week, Musk announced he wants to terminate the deal because he says Twitter doesn't want to disclose bot information. Twitter says Musk is pulling out of the deal because it no longer serves his personal interests. In the complaint, the social media company wrote, quote, having mounted a public spectacle to put Twitter in play and having proposed and then signed a seller-friendly merger agreement, Musk apparently believes that he, unlike every other party subject to Delaware contract law, is free to change his mind, trash the company, disrupt its operations, destroy stockholder value, and walk away, end quote. What do you think? In other news, everyone's trying to save some money on gas these days. Thankfully, there are a few ways to do it. Here's our consumer investigator, Chris Kimura, with tips that might help you keep some cash in your pockets. Tip one, you could save 62 cents to $2.47 per gallon if you start driving sensibly. What's that mean? Uncle Sam says aggressive drivers who floor it, stomp the brakes, then speed up, waste 15 to 40% of their gas. So if you stop those bad habits, you'll start saving money. Tip two, save 43 to 80 cents per gallon by giving yourself a speed limit. The energy department pegs a magic mark at 50 miles an hour. Here's what it says. Each five miles an hour you drive over 50 is like paying an additional 43 cents per gallon for gas. Driving no faster than 50 on freeways is not realistic or safe, but on other slower highways and streets, it might be a savvy move. Number three, save some pennies per gallon by cleaning out your car. Think about it. If there's unnecessary junk in your trunk or glove box or console, you're paying money to cart around that cargo. For what? Leave the excess at home. You can hear the rest of Chris's tips right now on NBCBayArea.com slash how to. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.